Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to get back into making some protection paladin guide videos. This is going to be a beginner's guide video for raid tanking as a paladin and answering some of the questions I usually get down in the comments like what is blessing spam, uh, skills and rotation, and other things. So let's go ahead and get into the tips. First, let's talk about greater blessing of kings and how it's going to generate threat for you. In Classic WoW, all of your blessings generate 60 threat per player. The reason we use Greater Blessing of Kings is because it's the most mana efficient at 150 mana. Your blessings are also counted as holy spells, so they're affected by your improved Righteous Fury, which you should be specced into into the talent tree. This increases the threat of your holy spells by a 1.9 multiplier, bringing your Blessing of Kings spam up to 114 threat per player as long as that player is on the threat table of the target you're attacking. So when tanking 40 mans as a protection paladin you should always keep in mind of your raid makeup and how much of one class you have in the raid to generate more threat. I would recommend 8 or more of one class in your raid to help keep competitive with the other tanks that you'll be tanking with in your 40 men. But you can't always rely on blessings to generate most of your threat for you, especially in 20 mans, where you'll have less of one class. So in situations like that, it would be better to stack spell power gear, and if you can, put a rep pally in your group to give you sanctity aura. Now for skills and rotation. For the skill tree that I would usually go with, this is what I would usually choose, but you can always change some things around. For spell rotation, I would usually start with a seal of righteousness and a holy shield before going into combat. Then judge the target, go into a greater blessing of king spam, while reapplying your seal and your holy shield whenever they're about to fall off. Always keep your judgment of wisdom up on the target, and use seal of wisdom for longer boss fights. In a 40 man, only use consecration when you're dealing with an AoE pool. Don't use it for single target trash or bosses, it's more mana efficient to use Blessing of Kings. But in a 20 man raid, you can't always rely on Blessing of Kings to generate most of your threat, so you can use Consecration on bosses to generate extra threat. If a DPS in your raid pulls threat off the boss onto them, you can always use a Blessing of Protection to drop their threat temporarily and get the boss back onto you. I recommend the target of target macro for your blessing and protection that I will link in the description which will make things a lot easier. Your weapons can also play into your rotation whether you're using a fast spell power weapon for more threat, a mitigation weapon that has more stamina and defense on it, or your flurry axe to generate more mana on trash mobs and longer fights. But if you're lucky enough to have both bindings and a thunder fury just use it most of the time. Next we're going to talk about spells that will mitigate damage and your defensive cooldowns. Having Holy Shield activated all the time is going to help mitigate damage for you by increasing your block chance. The only time I wouldn't reapply this is on very threat sensitive fights like maybe Velstraz where I would use the global cooldown for another greater blessing of king spam, but most of the time you would want to have your Holy Shield up at all times. Improved Lay on Hands is going to be one of your greatest defensive cooldowns, so make sure you spec into Improved Lay on Hands in the skill tree so you can get the armor bonus and the decreased cooldown on the ability. Your next defensive cooldown would be your Divine Shield. Don't be afraid to use this on bosses because the boss is just going to turn and attack the next tank on threat. He's not going to run around and kill DPS, and you can use this as a great defensive cooldown to get a heal. You can also cancel this so the boss won't even be able to turn and attack anybody else and you can use that to wipe debuffs off of you during the fight. I'll link the uh, macro for your bubble cancel in the description. Also if you have nothing else left you can always heal yourself as a protection paladin. If some of your healers are dead or cc'd at the time and they call it out you can use flash of light to heal yourself up and I recommend a swing timer so you can usually flash of light in between the boss's swings with no pushback. But I think I've went on long enough for now so I think I'm going to wrap the guide up here. If you want to see any more protection powder and content I recommend that you check out Ascalon's channel who has a lot of videos showing off what protection powder can do. And the channel Annabelle Profurious also has a couple videos called Prop Paladin by the Numbers 
that can help you learn about the class and how it works. So I definitely recommend watching these videos and Ascalon's channel and I'll leave a link to them in the description. But I'm going to wrap the video up here and I'd really appreciate if you like or subscribe. If I get enough positive feedback about this guide then I'll try and make a part two talking more about gearing, stat priority, and consumables and a couple other things that I usually get asked. But other than that I appreciate it and I'll see you next time.